Welcome to a brand new video. Today I am going to show you how you can install Ubuntu on your PC or laptop. Ubuntu is a popular Linux distribution that many new users try first. It will give you a different perspective on working on your computer. Ubuntu is a fast, stable, and reliable distro that people use every day. In this video, I am going to guide you through the installation of Ubuntu and show you what to do first after login into your Ubuntu for the first time. So, let's get started. First, you need the Ubuntu ISO file. Go to Ubuntu's official website and download the ISO file. I will put the link in the description. After downloading the ISO file, you need to create a bootable USB flash drive to boot from. You can use Rufus or Bellina Etcher to create a bootable USB drive. Or you can create a cool multi-boot USB drive using Ventoe. I made a video of that. You can go and check that out. The video link is in the description. Now that our bootable media is ready, we need to go to the BIOS and boot from it. This is the Ubuntu installer. You can either try Ubuntu on a live session without installing it or you can install Ubuntu right away. As we are installing Ubuntu, let's install it. Now, select your keyboard layout. Click Continue. OK, so normal installation means you will have all the software and tools that come with Ubuntu including web browser, office suite, media player, and other applications. Minimal installation only has a web browser and some basic utilities. This option is for more advanced users. Check download updates and third-party software. Third-party software is really important as it contains various media codecs, Wi-Fi drivers, and graphics drivers. Click Continue. This part is critical. If you want to do a clean install, select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu. Make sure you have backed up all your data. This will delete all the files and install Ubuntu. If you are planning to dual booting Ubuntu alongside Windows, I have written a step-by-step -step guide on my website. Check the link in the video description. Select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu, and click Install Now. Select your time zone. Click Continue. Enter your user details. Click Continue and the installation will start. Wait for the installation to be completed. Alright, the installation is completed. It took around 15 minutes to complete the installation. Click Restart now to restart the PC. Click on your username. Enter your password to log in. This is the Ubuntu Welcome app. Sign in if you want to connect any of your accounts. I do not, so I click Skip. I do not send information. If you want to you can select yes. Location is turned off. Click on done and that's it. Ubuntu is installed successfully. We are not done yet. We need to do three things after installing Ubuntu to have a better experience. First, we need to change the download server to get a better downloading speed. Click on show applications and search for software and updates. Now, go to the server list and click on the select best server button. It will run some tests to select the best server for you. Choose your server and enter your password to save it. Now close it. You can reload if you want. Now, open up a terminal and run the apt update command. This will download all the latest package info and let you have a look at how many packages have updates. Enter your password and wait for it to complete. Now, run the upgrade command. This will download all the latest packages and update your system. Wait until it finishes the upgrade process. Restart your computer. You now have a fully updated Ubuntu system. I hope you find this helpful. If you have any issues installing Ubuntu, I highly recommend reading my blog post. 
you can also comment down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Linux videos. And as always, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.